Hello and welcome to Records Rebuilds. Today we've got another C8Z06 video for you and this time the news is a little mixed, you know. Um, over the past two weeks we've gotten a lot of new C8Z06 news and a lot of it, instead of the rest of the C8Z06 news where you just want to cheer about it, uh, there are some possible downsides to it as well. The MSRP for the car was higher than we thought it would be and then we find out about this program where um, they're going to, uh, if you own the car for one full year and you don't sell it, then you can get $5,000 worth of GM points. I'm excited about that. I mean, um, you know, it's $5,000. You're gonna be, I'll probably use it on two sets of tires for the car myself, um, but you could use it to make your payments on the car. You could use it for uh, any accessories that they sell or like I said, for those tires that are gonna make me cry. Um, but, I think a lot of other people have this feeling like, you know, this has always been the best value brand in sports cars. And I really wish I could just have that 5,000 off of MSRP and like some sign some sort of a pledge that I wasn't gonna resell it. Uh, but obviously that's not really gonna work because General Motors have to get into litigation and all sorts of things like that. So i am kind of got mixed feelings about that one. But the big one, the really big one that just dropped in the second part of last week um, is the news that it said in the beginning part of the warranty, but it sounds like now all of the warranty, pretty much all the meaningful parts of the warranty other than things like seat belts and things like that, airbags, safety things, and, and recalls as well, of course. Other than that, the entire warranty is going to be voided if you sell the C8Z06 within the first year of ownership. Now, on the one hand, you've got the people who are saying, ah, it's like four years till I can even get my place in line to buy a car. Yeah, I'm cheering for this. This is awesome. But on the other hand, you know, um, like again, this car has always been the best value in sports cars. And I just, feel like putting limitations on that, even though they're not limitations that I expect will affect me in any way, makes it a little less exciting, you know? So um, the good news is, I think it was pretty vague about what part of the warranty that was gonna be. Uh, and so we're gonna go over that in a little bit because Jalopnik got in contact with General Motors and they actually got the exact parts of the warranty uh, that will be voided. So we'll go over that and then we'll go over, um, you know, what those actual warranty terms are for the new car. So that'll be kind of interesting. And then at the end, we're tacked on to the end here, we're gonna go over uh, something that I think is most interesting to most of you guys, which is like, when is my car gonna be built? When might my car get to me? So we've got updated data that we can plug into the calculator. And I'll tell you when I think my C8Z06 is gonna be coming and how you can use the calculator to figure out when your C8Z06 might be coming. But first, let's look at those warranty terms. Okay, so as you can see here on the Jalopnik website, they're carrying kind of the same news as everybody else. GM will cancel your warranty if you buy your Z06 from a flipper. But then you see this update here, and it looks like if we scroll down here, let's see, yeah, right here. If we scroll right down to this bottom part here, they say, a GM spokesperson gave the following details to Jalopnik. For Corvette Z06 and Escalade V, if ownership of the vehicle is transferred from the original owner within the first 12 months of delivery, the bumper-to-bumper, -bumper, powertrain, sheet metal, and tire and accessory coverages will be voided. So here's what's interesting about that. If we go and we look, you know, the, the Corvette comes with a bumper-to-bumper -bumper three year 36,000 mile warranty. It comes with a, a powertrain five year 60,000 mile warranty. It comes with a federal emission control systems warranty, which would not be voided by this new program. It comes with five year 60,000 mile roadside assistance warranty, which apparently also would not be voided. Courtesy transportation, you know, your rental car for the first three years, 36,000 miles. Although I think these two are only for warranty related issues. And if you don't have a warranty to cover them, I don't know, maybe you don't get these. Uh, then corrosion and rust through. Normally, the you know all General Motors vehicles have a three-year, thirty-six thousand mile corrosion warranty, and if it rusts all the way through the panel, which obviously is not going to be a problem with the Corvette, that's six years, hundred thousand mile warranty. Uh, but if we go back to the Jalopnik article, there you can see um, that. Uh, you know, sheet metal, that's that corrosion and rust warranty. You can see the powertrain, the bumper to bumper. 
but tire and accessory coverages, I'm not sure what that means because I don't think they have any tire and accessory coverages built into the warranty normally. So maybe they're going to have a tire warranty that you can take advantage of. Maybe there's an additional warranty that you don't normally get that's coming online. I'm not really sure what that means, but we'll just have to wait and see. Overall, I think it's something that's kind of scary to a lot of us, but I guess if you're going to keep the car over one year, then it's not something that you have to worry about. Okay, so let's take a guess at updating our calculation figure and our Z06 production calculator. As you can see here, originally we were calculating January of 2023. Uh, and I think I'm going to move that back a little bit, but we'll show you why here. So first off, if you want to use this calculator yourself, all you have to do is go up here and hit file and then make a copy and it'll allow you to make your own copy. I can't give everybody permissions to change this one because then everybody will be fighting for changing all the variables at the same time. Uh, but you can make your own copy and input your own values. So the first value we're going to look at is the total number of Corvettes produced in the first calendar year after Z06 launch. We had pegged that at 30,000 in the past, but let's head over to midenginecorvetteforum.com so we can take a look at some of the actual production numbers since 2023 Corvette production started on May 20th. So the first thing I want to say about this data is that it comes from midenginecorvetteforum.com and that the spreadsheet is maintained by Murray20C8, as you can see at the top of the page there, and that the data comes from Mark Real, owner of the C8 Corvette Owners Facebook group. Now, if you look at the data here, you can see all these blanks here for the future are filled in with the number 184, 184 Corvettes produced a day. And that's very possible. We've seen them do over 190 in a day before. But if you look above that at the number produced per day and the number produced per week, we haven't consistently or really ever been reaching that 920 per week number that is necessary to do what GM wants to do and build, you know, 40 to 44,000 of these cars a year. Uh, so if you add up the average uh, for the first uh, 10 weeks of production, because we missed a whole week right around July 4th, um, based on the fact that uh, they were had a, a shutdown because they were out of parts from a specific supplier, um, and you average that out, that's 691 cars per week. You figure they're working 49 weeks per year once you count out all of the vacation, and if you add that up, that's 33,893 units per year. Uh, now, you can play with those numbers yourself as you see fit and come up with whatever number you want to come up with, but for us, we're going to use 33,893 as our number. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do back on our calculator here is we're going to change our total production number to 33,893. Then we're going to change our starter production date. We were a little optimistic to 9-15-2022. And I'm almost certain, uh, as, you know, especially some, some bits of privileged communication that have come out, we're almost certain that that's going to be within a week of that date, maybe a week before, maybe... A week later, but right around 9 15, 2022 should be when C8 Z06 production starts. We're still going to go with the 33.3% number because nobody has any idea what number that, that could be. Certainly, it probably won't be that high at the beginning, but as an overall average, we're hoping that it's about that high, but we just don't know. I'm going to leave the one week without any cars being produced in there as, uh, as sort of, um, you know, just a, uh, something that I can use to buy me some time since nothing ever works out as good as you expect. And then um, this whole part here, if you check back in another month or so, or another two months, we should be able to get rid of this whole 2021 Corvette sold to your dealer and percent of Z06 production because we should be able to get from your dealer about how many allocations per month they're getting. And that might be a more accurate way of putting that in there. But for now, the number of uh, of C8 sold in 2021 is still what I'm going to use to um, to rank my dealer there and how often they get allocations. And you can see putting all this in here changes the week of production to 316 2023. Um, now, of course, some of our very first 
C8Z06s to hit the market, they're going to have probably a two to three week quality control hold placed on them. So it's going to take even longer for the cars to get out for them. But for my car, I'm now changing that prediction to March 16th, the week of March 16th, 2023. Okay, so there you have it. That's my best guess. I think given the start time of production and how long things have been taken, it's gonna take probably in another month, probably March or later for when I get my car, uh, which originally I think we predicted February. Uh, so March or later, still not bad, still super excited about it. And I think as far as, you know, the changes to the car's warranty and the, and the changes to the, the incentive programs and stuff like that to try and get you to keep the car instead of flip it, I think that's kind of a mixed bag. I don't think anybody's most people are not super excited about it. Some people are, and most people are not super angry about it. Some people are, but I think for the most part, for the rest of us, it's kind of a mixed bag. We're wanting to be excited about the car, but we need to get some lap times. And as soon as those come, I think all this will be forgotten and we'll all be pretty jacked up and excited. So uh, until next time, see you guys later.